Well, hi, happy Thursday to you, third grade. Um, so we're kind of uh, wrapping things up here, or um, what you'll see out here. We're looking at uh, lesson 145 and 146. Okay, so 145, which starts on page 289. Uh, notice it's just more of the three digit times one digit with renaming, regrouping. You just have some little bigger numbers here, but you're still doing things the same way. You still start off with the ones, and if it's bigger than 10 or bigger, you're gonna carry over to the next place and then do your one, the single digit times the tens. Now, and then again, if it's 10 or more, you're putting down the digit and carrying to the next place, and then you're multiplying your hundreds. So nothing different, okay? It's just more of what you were doing yesterday. Uh, just a little, some little bit bigger numbers, but still, you're just doing two digits at a time. So you still should see that just knowing your math facts, you can do any number, any size. All right? So that takes care of lesson 145, which is 289 and 290. So if you turn over to page 291, this is lesson 146, and on this lesson, uh, notice it's multiplying by tens and hundreds. And so we're just going to show you kind of a, uh, uh, just kind of an easy thing or a way to do this. All right. So, for instance, notice if we have up there in the green, it shows you starts off with three times two, I think is what it did. Three times two. Okay. So three times two. You, all, you know, is six. Now what about if it was three tens times two? Okay, How they actually did this way. They did three, sorry, three times two tens. So it's still three times two, right? So it's still six, but because it's two tens or 20, your answer would be six with a zero after it so that your six is in tens place. So notice still, you only needed to know your facts three times two. It's just three times two tens so instead of your answer being six, your answer is gonna be 60, okay? And so then they show you another one. They show you four times three hundreds. So notice again, all you have to know is four times three. And four times three is 12. Okay? But this is four times three hundreds. So it's just going to be 12 with two zeros this time. Okay? So this is three times two tens, which is 20. So what you're seeing here is three times two, but with a zero after it. Here, this is four times 300. So it's still four times three, which is 12, but this is gonna have two zeros after it. And that's kind of the pattern that they want you to see here. Just like in number one, it's two, times 30. So what you're going to think is 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 
6. That's 2 times 3 tens, so it has a 0 after it. Okay? Now you look at number 3. Number 3, this, is no, this was number 1. This is number 3. Okay? And it's 6 times 20. Okay? So notice, again, you're going to do 6 times 2, which is 12, but it's 2 tens. You've got a 0 after this, so you have 1 0 in your answer. Okay? You look at number 5. So it's 5 times 80. So you're still you're going to think 5 times 8. 5 times 8 is 40. But it's really 5 times 80, so it's going to be 40 with a 0 after it. Now sometimes people get mixed up because they'll see that 0 there and think, oh, I already put the 0 there. But that was the zero for eight, five times eight, 40. You still have to put this zero in because it wasn't five times eight, it was five times eight tens or 80. Okay? And so when you go to like number seven, which is 20 times four, Again, you're just going to think 4 times 2, which is 8, and you're going to have 8 with a 0 after it. Okay? So, that's all you're going to do. Number 13. Well, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do number 13. So, number 13 is 400 times 2. Right? Yep. And so you're just going to do 2 times 4, which is 8. But I had two zeros here because it's 400. So I'm going to have two zeros down there. So that's all that this is really trying to show you, you know, how to do. All right, so um, it, again, it's nothing really new. You know, it's just a little bit different, but that's kind of cool, isn't it? Seriously, so going, oh, five times 80. Oh, I don't know. I don't know my 80s. Okay, but you know five times eight. So five times eight, 40, and then add a zero to it. Okay? So, hope that helps you. You can watch this video. You can watch the other video that's from the publisher of the book and the PowerPoints. And hopefully you shouldn't have any trouble on 145 one, or on uh, lesson 145 and lesson 146. So, you're doing, I think it says the evens, page 289 to 292. All right. So... Take care, hope that helps you, and uh, take care of your family, and we'll see you out here later. God bless.